Hello, hello, my friends. Wolf Tiger here, and I'm coming at you on a fine Wednesday afternoon. And once again, it's time for the things that make you go, hmm. Taking a look at the headlines today, I saw something interesting out of Nintendo once again. It seems the president of the corporation thinks that a single title could change the fate of the struggling Wii U console. Let me get you the details on what he said. The fate of a video game system is often influenced greatly by the introduction of a single title. As many of you probably remember, before the release of the Pokemon game, Game Boy had been showing slow growth and many people wondered whether it was the end of the Game Boy, Iwata said. But the Pokemon game single-handedly changed the landscape of the system, which then started to show the strongest sales in the life cycle of the system. Okay, this statement confirms one thing to me. Mr. Owada and the rest of the Nintendo executives don't want to change their ways. They don't want to look at the big problems and see why their console is struggling because they've been cycling through the same process for the last decade. No, they'd rather look at the short-term fix and say, well, that next great game is going to carry our console and change things for the better. But in actuality, it takes a lot more than one really good game to carry a console. For instance, let's look at his example, the Game Boy. Sure, the Pokemon game may have sold a lot of copies and helped things along, but there are a lot of other great reasons why the Game Boy remains such a solid seller to this day. Classic yet innovative, lacking in true competition, a great customer base, and unlike the Wii U, has a strong library of third-party games. The very thing that we've seen lacking from the Wii U, the Wii, the GameCube, and the Nintendo 64. Yet, somehow Mr. Awada thinks that one game is going to change his main console. Watching the way that Mr. Awada and the rest of the Nintendo executives run their company makes me really sad. It's like seeing an old friend standing in front of a wall, just standing there and beating his head into the wall over and over again because that's what he's always done. And even though there's a doorway just a couple feet away, he won't turn and go to the doorway because this is the way he's always gone before. He just keeps beating his head against the brick, bleeding all over himself and the floor saying, wall, move out of the way and conform to my direction. My way is the right way and it's the wall who's wrong. It's not me who needs to change my way and change my path, but the wall that needs to change. I know this is a rather extreme example, but that's just the way it looks to me. And honestly, I'm really tired of seeing an old friend just bleeding all over himself when he has the tools and the help to change. Please, Mr. Awada, you and the rest of your executives just need to open your eyes and open your ears and admit that you don't have all the answers. It's time to admit that you need to listen to the customers and to the companies around you. As always, we'll keep our eyes open and see what happens next. That's all for now. Peace out.